Welcome back to Earl's Animated Worlds. First off, I'd like to say, due to some still te technical difficulties, this episode might be a little blurry in some areas. I do apologize. I hope you're still able to enjoy. With that said, let's get to this review. I found the three latest poly bags at my local store, and I thought I'd review them. These bags are all three the same price at a $4.99, $5 limit with one set here containing 34 pieces, another set here containing 30... How many is that? Glare is 46 pieces, and our last set over here containing 60 pieces. Are these sets worth it and having in your collection? Okay, so our first set here we're gonna review is set 50665. This is the Baby Gorilla Encounter at 34 pieces. It is part of the Lego City set. It is the... Um, it's a jungle set theme that they're going with right now. I actually do know one of the pieces to this is actually being retired a year after being put out, oddly enough. I'm going to put this set together uh, off camera and then review it on camera. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so here we have the Baby Gorilla Encounter set. Uh, we have our basic character. I am so sorry I can't zoom in on him to see him better, but... <sighs> I want to get my camera fixed, I can. Um, anyways, we got a basic minifigure here. I don't believe any parts of him are any special pieces. Uh, we got a print on the shirt there. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Um, there is no um, back piece on the head there, so I'm not removing the wig. There's a bottle in the backpack. He's got a radio, walkie-talkie, whatever you want to call it, and a, you know, branch in his hand. As for the Baby Gorilla Encounter, you have this nice little set here. Remember, this was only 35 pieces, and I do believe it is also counting the little mini pieces. Um, palm fronds here, uh, connected to this little uh, piece up top here, this little, um, supposed to be the bottom of a tree, actually. Got, some, got a little pink frog there. You know, it, it's cute. It's adorable. Uh, if I was going to rate this on a 1 to 10 scale... Oh. Yeah, this thing costs 5 bucks. It's a bunch of just tiny little pieces, and I hate when they do this. Um, that gorilla, though, I do believe that there's only a few sets with those. And I can't find them on the Pick-A-Brick website. So, I'm going to say I'm going to give it an... 6.5 out of 10. It's not too bad. If you are collecting the jungle pieces, I really would add this to your set. Other than that, you know, nothing more to say about it. It's cute as can be. Let's put this over. Okay, set 30663, Space Hover Bike. Uh, this set is the 45 piece set. Is that a five? There's so much glare from this little light. Sorry, this is a 46 piece set. We got our character with a little space hover bike. I'm going to put it together. You know, is it worth it? Okay, here we have our space hover bike set. And first off, I want to talk about this little uh, rock area. It's just a little rock area with some crystals on it. Here's the thing though, I do love the Lego crystals. I think they are wonderful. So I'm actually happy to see that. Um, sometimes if you put these under like black light, they have this really cool glow to them. I'm not sure if these will. Can't find the black light. <sighs> All right, up next is our astronaut. I'm going to try and do something to zoom in on this, um, if possible, without it being blurry. Because I love the design of this suit. She has a really cool suit. Uh, I love the how it looks. Um, Look at the helmet. It's blue and white. I've never seen that on a Lego, but it's been a while since I've seen space Legos. Uh, she's only got that one face there, uh, which is just the female Lego character smiley face. Um, the back, you know, all the blues and whites on it. Really cool. Let's get to our hover bike here. Remember, this was all 56 pieces. Um... It's not too simplistic of a build, you know. I gotta say, there's some really nice tech, uh, techniques that went into this. You could take the thrusters here and 
aim them down so you know vertical takeoff this is really cool i do like the way this is made can i stand it like that no not really <laughs> there's no control panel uh usually you get like a one of those um like handle things there that swivel back and forth that can be used as a lever or an antenna or something like that but on this one we just get that purple clear piece in there with a battery symbol on top let's put her inside of here arms out because why not and she looks really cool inside there too this thing is neat I love this thing so much right now. Um, is it worth it? I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Solid 8 out of 10. Love that. It only came with a few extra pieces, so, you know, I don't think you're going to need them at all. Other than that, 8 out of 10 for the Space Hover Bike. All right, we have set 30671, Aurora's Playground. Uh, this is from the Lego Disney characters. It's basically like the Friends designs. Um, not a fan of the dolls. I've always expressed that so far. There's a lot of animals to this set, so it might be worth it. A lot of this looks like, uh, you know, like something that they did before already with the Friends design. I don't know. This is our largest set with 60 pieces total. Okay, we're back with Aurora's Forest Playground. Uh, so, always you get a little one of these uh, Lego dolls. First time ever I've put one of these together and it did not fall apart on me or fall down. And it just... Okay, that fell down. Stands there. No problems with it. So the playground aspect is this little, you know, Ferris wheel for the animals. Uh, it comes with a squirrel, and I assume that's a rabbit. Yeah, that's a gray rabbit. Uh, with this cute little tree here. Where is it? There's like a purple mushroom down bottom there with a... It's like a... I can't remember what these pieces are called, but it's using a pink flower and this piece to be a mushroom. Uh, yeah, not too much to this all in that. So this set had the most pieces out of all three of these and yet it felt the easiest one to build so i'm not sure what i want to say about that one this is cute and adorable though um honestly i think that lego should continue this theme right here just do kind of like this carnival playground type deal with the disney characters i think it would fit you know everybody have their own theme all right <sighs> So I'm not a big fan of the Disney line. Um, well, I'm not a big fan of the dolls with any of the lines. So I'm going to give this a full on solid seven because I do like the tree. It's cute. It's adorable. You can add this to, you could, you know, take away the doll, add the tree to a city set, like in the background somewheres. And you can make that part of a park area or a carnival area or something like that. Okay. So. That is my review of the three $5 Lego sets that are most likely at your local Walmart, Target, um, wherever you buy poly bags at. There are other sets there, I just didn't care to build them because, you know, one of them was a Technics, one's to a video game. I'm not doing the Sonic or Mario sets. Uh, so, you know, if this video helped you at all, you know, like, subscribe, hit those notifications, let me know. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.